Well, hello, world of the internet. I'm coming to you today from Canada. Ugh. Ooh, watch out for dog shit. Ugh. Greetings, internet. I come to you with a humble plea. I know that the internet is a fickle mistress, but I'm hoping that my plea will not go unheeded. There's these people, oh, there goes my bow tie. There's these people in India, and they like to scam little old ladies out of their hard-earned money. And so I figured, what better than to have a little fun with these fuck sticks? Well, we got one fuck. We're officially PG-13. That's two fucks. We're officially no longer PG-13. So, I got a call earlier today from these CRA scammers. CRA stands for Canada Revenue Agency, for those of you who are unaware. And I figured we could have a lot of fun with them. So, these CRA scammers, they've scammed several thousand people since 2014, about $14 million worth of scamming done. Look out, internet. We got a badass. Not really. So, I figure what better opportunity could we have to fuck with these CRA scammers right in the nads. <laughs> Welcome to the ridiculous. Now, you'll see a number flashing upon your screen. We want to call that number as much as humanly possible and as much as inhumanly possible. Celery? This isn't gonna fit my barbecue. Daijodan seems to be the cut. That one came at me like a missile. That is quite possibly the most inefficient way ever to cut vegetables. Now, I know, internet, you are a fickle mistress. And I'm fully aware that this may backfire on me completely. But that's a risk I'm willing to take. So we're cooking up a little bit of fun with the scammers. And see if we can't Grill up an amazing, fantastic bit of revenge for all those people who have had their hard-earned money taken from them by these fuckwads. Fantissimo. So let's see if we can cook up a little mischief. Time for me and Pikachu to get to work. Ready, Pikachu? All right, let's cook up a little mischief. It's very nice of them to call from an Ontario number. 1-226-646-7812. I've already called them about 35 times today. Let's make it an even 36. Hello? He hello? Uh, I, uh, is anybody there? I got a message to call this number. Yeah, hello? Uh, hello. Uh, I got a call. I got, I got a message to call this number. Something about the police are after me. Okay, when do you receive that kind of call, sir? Uh, like 10 minutes ago. I went to my voicemail. I wasn't able to get to the phone. I was taking the giant shit. Okay, so can you just help me out to verify me your name so that I can check and give you some of the information regarding about this phone call? Sorry, say that again? It's hard to hear you out here. 
Can you just help me out there, girl? Find me your name. Oh, my name. Yes, of course. Uh, Loki Odinson. Loki. And can you just spell out your last name? O D I N S O N. Okay, Loki Odinson, right? That's right. Yeah. Okay, Mr. Loki, can you just help me out if you find me a postal code? Sure. My postal code is V one uh -huh. M one uh -huh. M R. Uh -huh. B Victor one uh, Mary number one Mary and after that R R Are you sure that you touch your boss with God? I think I think so. That's what I write on the letters. Okay, just hold on. Okay, just let me check. Okay, uh, you're from British Columbia, right? Right. From Canada, okay. yeah. Okay, I got it. Just hold on. Did you find me? I kind of don't feel oh, like no, going you, to jail. Uh, no, you have a very wrong postal code. Well, I don't get many you letters. Are, uh, no, you are, you are missing more than one letter. It should be R. It should be like a numeric number, like B, Victor, number one, M, one, M, and after that, it should be R. It should be a number. Oh, maybe I got the wrong number. I'm not really sure. I, I don't get many letters. I, I, there's, there's, listen, just just tell me. It, it, nobody's coming to take me and put me in jail. Cause, uh, like, look, I know I haven't paid my taxes for like 10 years, but just come on. Do, like, you don't need to send me to jail for that, do you? That's not like a jail thing. Like, is there like a fine? Why don't you go ahead and check your postal code and give me your postal code again? Well, I, I told you what I thought it was. Like I said, I don't get many letters. It's Loki Odinson. I know your name is Loki Odinson, but Mr. Loki, you are giving me the wrong postal code. Well, maybe I, I guess I don't know what my postal code is. I, because I don't get many letters. If you can't give me a postal code, then I can't help you. I'm sorry, I'm trying to give you my postal code. You're telling me it's wrong. That's the one that I write on the letters, but I don't get many letters. It should be R. It should be something like a numerical number. Why don't you go ahead and check on your Google, like your postal code, area code? Uh, you che like that? Check, on, check on my what? Where, where do I find this? I, I really don't want to go to jail. Well, I, how many years you are in Canada? Uh, like all of them, mostly. Sometimes okay. I go, sometimes so I go go other places, but almost. like almost my whole life. Like I've I've left Canada okay, a few times. Your whole life. Then how come you didn't know your postal code then? Because I don't get many letters. I'm sorry. I like I said. I don't okay. I don't file my taxes. I haven't filed taxes for like ten years. I'm sorry, Mr. Loki. I can't help you on that. Are you sure? Because I don't want to go to jail. Yes. No, you'll be ending up going to the jail because the RCMP will be taking over your case file. I'm going to hand over your case file to the RCMP and they will be taking over your uh, case you're, file, okay? You're not the RCMP? No, uh, we are from the investigation department, so the RCMP will the take R over are you right from now. The RCMP you'll be receiving a call from RCMP. So try to cooperate with them, Are you okay? from the RCMP Investigations Department? I'm sorry, I'm just, I don't want to go to talk to the cops. Don't send the cops to my house. I, I want to talk to you. Can we talk to you? Well, that's six minutes where that lady won't be calling and talking to any little old ladies to see if they can take her money. Let's see if we can be a little more abusive. Hello? I think they're wise to be. I'm not surprised. It's only like the 37th, 38th time I've called them. Yes, thank you for calling CRA. How can I help you? Oh, that's so much better. Hi, I'm sorry. I tried calling you just a second ago, but I couldn't hear anything. 
Hi, uh, my, my name's Loki Odinson, and I got a call from, from this number saying that I had to call you because otherwise I'd go to jail. Okay, so when did you receive a call from CRA? Like 10 minutes ago. So I, I would I would have answered the phone because it's the government, but I was taking a giant shit. Okay, what was the call regarding about? Something about taxes? I, I don't I don't really know. They're they're saying that they was calling the police and all this kind of stuff. And look, I know I haven't paid my taxes in like twenty years, but I just don't want to go to jail. So can we just like forget this whole business? Maybe give me a fine. Okay. Okay, sir. Let me tell you what is going on and what has to do you. So before I the phone, can you please verify your first name and your last name? Yeah, it's Loki Odinson. Uh, can you spare me your first name? L O K I. Uh huh. That that's how you spell my and first your last name. name. Oh, how and do I spell my last name? name? Yeah, can you spell me your first, uh, your last name? I can spell you my last name. Sure. Uh, it's O D I N S O N. Okay, I got it. And can you please verify me your postcode? Your postcode? Yes, it's V one R. V one R. One B zero. One B zero, right? Right. So what's what's going on? Like like, you're not sending the cops or nothing like that, right? Okay. Are you guys like the cops? Let me you. Like, I, I don't want to go to jail. It's, you guys are yes, saying I'm going to go to jail. So, like, I don't want to go to jail. So, let, let, let's figure this out. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me tell you now. So, listen to me very carefully, okay? Okay, I'm listening. And do not interrupt me in between while I am providing don't. you the information. And once I complete my part, I'll give you a chance to speak, all right? Is this the part where I'm supposed to speak? Okay, so, Mr. Long, okay, I understand. Go I'm ahead. Just having, I'm just having a look at your file, and I can see here there is a red flag on your text file, which indicates that there is an error in your text file, and your text is called a material misstatement. Can you hear me? Sorry, I, I can only hear half of what you're saying there. You're saying that I have a, a problem with my text file? Uh huh. Who so did it, Who did I text? found some serious allegations on your tax filing. Yeah, well, like I said, I haven't filed any taxes for like 20 years, so probably lots of irregularities. Like, that's totally probably right. Uh-huh. Can so, you hear me? Yeah, yeah, I can hear you, yeah. Okay, listen to me, okay? Sorry, can you say that again? I couldn't the, quite hear you. The regarding of my call is to inform you that we found some serious allegations on your tax filing. What happened is that we have done a random audit. Your tax filing for the year of 20, 13 to 2018. That is five year audit report. And we found out some miscalculations under your tax filing. So because of which there is a lawsuit being filed against you by the CRA. Oh. So do you have any idea about this? Well, no, I don't like, I mean, probably, I don't know. I, I haven't like, I don't ever file taxes. Like I don't, I don't even pay them. So. I, I don't know. Okay. I, I don't know anything you, about that so, kind of stuff. Like I just I just don't worry okay. about it. Okay. Are you employed or unemployed? Well, I mean, like legally. I'm sorry. Like 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 when you say unemployed or employed, like, am I employed legally or illegally? Okay, legally. No, definitely not legally employed. Okay, I say, I tell you again, I say, that, are you employed or unemployed? I'm not employed legally. I'm definitely employed illegally, but I'm not employed legally. Like I said, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't pay taxes, so I, I'm definitely not employed legally. Okay, you don't pay your tax, right? Right, for like 20 years, never had a problem. This is the first time I've heard about it, so I, like, I don't want to go to jail, but. Like, okay, that is the reason why you... That is maybe the reason I, maybe why I could, like, slip you, like, 20 CRA, bucks right? or something and we just forget about this whole thing. Can you, like, press delete on my file? I'll give you, like, 20 bucks. Okay. I'll just, like, slip it to you in the mail or so, something. It, it, 
Jason said you are not aware about the case, so let me make you aware about the case. So can you please just grab a piece of pen and paper and write down some important information? Okay, yeah, I got a pen. Hold on, let me get a piece of paper here, one second. Hold on. Okay. Hold on, one second, one second. I got a piece of paper here. Hold on, one sec. One sec. Okay, okay. We got some work to do here. Hold on, let's figure this all out. Let's figure this all out so I don't have to go to jail. Hold on one sec, just getting some paper here. Okay, okay, I got, I got paper and I got a pen. Okay. okay, go ahead. So what do we okay. gotta write down? So first of all, first of all, write down your case number. Your case number, that is CB. C, D. Can you hear me? Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. C, one, D. Zero, one, zero, one, seven, three. One, zero, ah, stupid. Hold on one sec. My pen's not working. Just don't call the police or anything. Just hang on one second. My pen's not working. Okay. I got to get a different pen here. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. One, one, one second. I, it's, it's a corded phone, so I, I just got to set it down. Can you hold on for just one second? Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. I'll be right back. One sec. Okay, I okay, I got it. Yeah. Okay, okay so what's the number? number? Sorry. That is C B one zero one seven three. Can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. So it's it's C and then P. No, 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 no. I say C B. C like K. C C like what? Sorry. Like I got the C. I got the C. C B. P. Like, like P is in Peter? Uh-huh. C is in like Charlie. P is like in Peter. Okay. Uh, okay. I like Peter. Number That's a great one. name. Number one. Okay. Number O. Number O. Number one. Number one. Number seven. Number seven. One, number seven, three. O, seven, three. Okay. Okay, that is your case number. And you can also write down my bit's number, my bit's ID number. That is C, like Charlie, R, like Romeo. Charlie Romeo. Okay, number three. Number three. Number two. Number, number three. So I got the three. What was the next number? Number two. Number two. Okay, I got it. Number four. Oh, hold on. There's more numbers. One sec. Number four. And number seven. And number seven. Okay. Let me repeat it again. My pet's ID number. That is C, R. C like Charlie, R like Romeo. Charlie number and two, Romeo. Number two. Number four. Two. And number seven. Seven. Four. Okay. Okay. That's correct. And now you don't need to write down anything and listen to me very carefully, okay? Okay, I'm listening. Okay, here we go. So, as for the information as of 1968, you do have the right to get the information before you get arrested. So, wait, wait, no, I'm, I'm calling you because I don't want to be arrested. Yes, sir. Hold on, hold on. I say listen to me very carefully. Okay, I'm listening very carefully. Please don't arrest me. The information, all right? Okay, I'll listen very carefully so you don't arrest me. Okay, do not interrupt me in between while I am providing you the information. I'm so right. sorry. I, I didn't mean to interrupt you. Just you were asking me if I understood. I, I, I think I understand that you're, you're not going to arrest me as long as I listen to what you say. Go ahead. Okay. So, as for the Information Act of 1968, you do have the right to get the information before you get arrested. So sorry, I don't understand. I can provide you limited information. Okay. I'm sorry? I, I, I don't understand the 1968 part. Okay, so as for the law, I can provide you limited information of all the bond. But you let you not interrupt me in between while I am providing the information. Okay. And it is also my job to make you aware that this is a three way conference with a department of homeland security. Alright? So Okay, so this is like a three way thing, like homeland like you mean like the states, like homeland security? Like, I haven't been to the States for, like, a lot of years, and I know I had that thing in Disneyland, but that's over now. Like, the court settled that. 
Okay, so Mr. Loki, I want to ask you one question. That is, who is taking care of your tax? You yourself, or you have a public accountant? Uh, I don't. I don't do taxes, right? So, like, like, I, I don't think I've ever filed a tax return. It's been like 20 years. This is the first I've heard about it. So, I figured I'd give you guys a okay. call back because you're like, oh, you're gonna go to jail and all this kind of stuff. So, like, I don't want to go to jail, you know. Okay, you said you don't file all tax, right? Yeah, I haven't filed taxes for like ever. Okay. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. I know I said I was going to be more abusive, but he was just too much fun. Thank you for calling Canada Revenue Agency. How can I help you? Yes, hello. This is the internet calling. We would like to tell you that you've become a meme and you're going to be getting a lot more phone calls from us, pumpkin fucker. You ready? Buckle up. Yeah, I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> All right. He's ready. I like the sound of this. Thank you for calling. This is Revenue Canada. How can I help you today? Greetings and good day. This is the internet calling you, and how can I help you today? <laughs> this is getting funny now. Thank you for calling Sierra. How can I help you? Yeah, so I got a phone call from this, but hang on one second. I'm taking a giant shit right now. Okay. okay. When did you receive a call from Sierra? Okay, there we go. It's, it's mostly out. Hold on one second. All right, there we go. Sorry. One, one sec. I got to switch. I got to switch hands here so I can wipe my ass. One sec. There we go. Left hand, right? It's left hand. <sighs> that smells wonderful. Okay. Go ahead. How can I help you today? Okay. So when do you receive a call from CRA? Is this the CRA? Uh-huh. What does that stand for? When did you receive a call? When did you receive a call from CRA? When I, did you receive a call? I just called you. Okay. What was the call regarding about? I called you about my giant shit. It's done now. No, I mean, no, I said, what was the call regarding about? I, I just, I just, I just called you. Okay. This is about your federal income taxes. Okay. Oh, oh, it's that kind of CRA, like, like Homeland Security kind of thing. This is the one that stops 9-11. Well, I'm going to continue on with this. Unlike these motherfuckers. God, it smells like old lady pants in here. Unlike those motherfuckers, I'm not going to waste your time. I put it forward to you, Internet. If you would like to help stop these CRA scammers from fucking with people, and have a little bit of fun in the process. Call the number on the screen now. Operators are standing by. There's about four or five of them, I think. I've talked to all of them dozens of times today. It's great, I love it. I'm gonna keep calling. We'll get back to our regular scheduled programming right after this, but in the meantime, please have fun.